I'm taking science to the streets, exploring the chemistry of everyday products in a very big way. I'm here at the hair salon to show the stylists just how hot hydrogen peroxide really is. All right, guys. Three, two, one. That was awesome, but why would you ruin a car with orange foam at a hair salon? Or why would you explode hundreds of ping pong balls and watch it in slow-mo? Science, baby. Actually, street science to be exact. The new show on Science Channel is led by host Kevin Delaney. Kevin and his amazing beard are both joining me now. Kevin, thanks for stopping in. Thanks, Tina. How are you doing? I am awesome. You know what? First off, congratulations on the show. Uh, we were looking at the clip of the, the bug with the orange foam kind of going everywhere. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Tell me what was the science behind what we were looking at. Okay, so uh, that's a classic science demonstration, a chemistry demonstration called elephant's toothpaste, or it's often called elephant's toothpaste, but it's the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. So uh, what we did is we, we took a lot of hydrogen peroxide and we added some dish soap and some food coloring, and then we released all of that oxygen in the uh, H2O2 and created that big geyser of foam. Now, instead of using a flask like you would normally use in a classroom, uh, we used that, uh, that that Volkswagen bug, which I promise was not running anymore anyway. So don't worry about it. <laughs> well, this is just one of a bunch of different experiments and it's called street science because you guys are really taking it to the streets. That one was at a, at a hair salon, but what are some of the other places you guys yeah. end up going to? Well, we also visited a terrific brewery called Three Daughters Brewing, and we kind of learned about the process uh, that they use when they're uh, testing the beers. Uh, so I got to work with their uh, quality control director. We called her a beer chemist, and she showed me her laboratory and all the equipment and the tests that she does to measure the levels of carbonation in the beer. Uh, and then we uh, released some pressure ourselves with some ping pong balls on top of it. Wait, there's a job called a beer chemist? Why did I not know that this was I know, right? I know. <laughs> I know, but yeah, exactly, exactly. That, that is awesome, and I know you're not alone, and we saw your partner in that clip, but kind of tell me about the team you're working with. Uh, well, I, yeah, I got to work with a great team, including Darren Dyke, who is a, a cinematographer and high-speed camera operator, and boy, he's great at catching some amazing, amazing visuals using uh, his phantom camera and a FLIR camera, the thermal camera to measure heat in certain demonstrations. Oh man, uh, he's fantastic and it, it really shows with, with uh, some of the visuals we achieved. Oh, I love the slow-mo video. I think that that takes yeah. uh, everything to like a new level like you were saying. And so we have, uh, of yeah. course, like we were saying, the beer, we were t looking at the uh, orange foam. What are some of the other uh, experiments that you get to do? Well, we also talked a little bit about some uh, important kind of problems that exist uh, in our world, like uh, wildfires out west can get really, really out of hand because of airflow moving around, creating that fire tornado, which can spread to the tops of trees and really, really do a lot of damage. So uh, we talked with the Hillsborough County Fire and Rescue Team, and we made our own fire tornado to kind of demonstrate the principles behind it. Uh, but we did it in a really, really safe way because you don't want to start a huge fire unless you're starting a huge fire around a bunch of fire and rescue folks. So that, that would worked be a out good idea. Well. <laughs> yeah. You know, I saw that video that you're talking about that fire tornado again. Super awesome, but awesome even more that we get to see it in slow mo. We're, you know, people are going to learn yeah. a lot from you, Kevin. But also, it's kind of like that G whiz factor of what we get to see. So right. this is uh, what we're going to be right. able to see throughout the whole season, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I love it, Kevin. Again, congratulations on the show. We'll see much more of you. And uh, please come back when I know we'll have a season two. Cool. Thanks very much, Tina. Have a great day. You too. Street Science airs on Science Channel Wednesday nights. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Stay with us. We'll be right back.